Okay, guys, a quick update on the Tiger uh, games released by Hasbro uh, coming up. So, um, I don't know why. I don't know why, but I recently saw a picture on Facebook of someone sharing a picture from someone's Twitter on what the packaging and stuff could possibly look like. So let me try to pull it up here again. It didn't want to cooperate last time. Hopefully it does this time. Um, so let me get the let me get the guy's Twitter. So because I don't want to take credit for it, it's not my picture. It's his picture. Um, so so here you go. It's uh Dada Rocks. He's a verified Twitter user, so um, he must know what he's doing. Anyway, so here we go. So you see Little Mermaid, Transformers. X-Men and Sonic 3. But, in the background, you also see little mock-ups of their packaging. Packaging, and I know they're uh, mock-ups because, one, this has red buttons, and this doesn't. This has really weird button placement, and this has normal button placement. Um, and, this actually looks fine. Like, this might... This might be close to final, like what it what it would look like. Um, so that looks all fine and dandy, but like for me, I would prefer them to be. Now I can switch my hand, to my dominant hand. <laughs> um, for me, I would prefer them to be the original blister packs. If you guys aren't familiar with what the term blister pack is, blister pack is like the plastic you would have to like cut open. Um, I don't want to get one out to show you guys what I mean, but you guys understand what I'm talking about. If you want to know, check out the Cat Dog or Sonic Gunning Rabbit. That those are blister packages. That's what what that's what a blister pack is. Just for all you guys that don't know the technical term, I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably do, but just for those who don't, uh, that's what blister pack is. Now I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not I don't like the original artwork. I like I like that they use the original artwork. I just wish. It was pre presented in a more displayable, um, long-term collectability fashion, so to speak. Because, yes, the plastic will start to yellow over time, maybe. But newer plastics, I don't think, are as susceptible to that as older plastics are. Because a lot of my... Um, Tigers that are in the package have yellowed plastic. Uh, the one, the most yellow damaged one, in particular, I can think of off the top of my head, is Golden Axe. And um, that one's really bad. Like it's so bad, it looks like it's sun faded, but it's not. Uh, the the back is a little bit sun faded with that, but that's beyond the point. But what I'm saying is, I think if they did new blister packs, I don't think it would be susceptible to um, like yellowing or, or like cracking or, or something like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a cost saving measure to make these be $15 instead of like 20. But for me, like I would gladly pay $20 for something that has like original blister packaging. I don't know. That's just me. I know a lot of you guys wouldn't want the price to be more than like $15, but the collector in me would want them to be, like, presented the best way possible. But, like I, like I said, I can't judge it by a picture. I'm just giving my initial thoughts of what this could be. And if this could be the final packaging. Which, honestly, guys, it probably is. Judging by that X-Men uh, picture and the X-Men package in, in the background, that looks pretty close to what... Um, it would probably be. So, I think that's the original packaging, what it's going to probably look like. Um, again, I don't know if the, the manuals are going to be like a book or you're going to have to go online and they're going to have them online or what. I hope they include manuals. I, I feel like they have to go for that 90s retro or 80s retro, depending on what game you're talking about. All these games are from 90. Like, in the 90s. None of them are from the 80s yet. Um, but 
if you want to go for that 90s look, Hasbro, please include manuals because that'd be really cool. And include some uh, um, advertisements too. Like, that'd be really cool if you include like retro advertisements for like your uh, the little pamphlets you used to have. And then they had that little checklist of uh, Tiger games that you currently own, which I went through for fun of, for the fun of it, because I think my Spider-Man copy has one, and I had like most of the games on there, so that was kind of neat to go through. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this video short and sweet and just say, um, I'll say this: um, if you guys want to stay up to date with what what. With the new Hasbro stuff, Tiger stuff in general, check out my community page. This is the last minor quick update video I'm going to do about Hasbro and Tiger stuff because I don't want to flood my channel with a bunch of small little update videos about it. So go check my community page and I'll write a blurb about it, about what I think, how it looks, and you guys can comment on it there and like it there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Thank you to Dada Rocks for tweeting that out because that's really cool. I, I love seeing that kind of stuff. Hopefully he gets back to me. and Because uh, if, if you guys didn't see, hold on. Let me go back to my the Twitter page real quick so you guys can see what I what I posted. Let me pull it up here real quick. Give me one second. Because if you guys see, I, I, I posted. I got a message from Level Hike probably. Don't mind that. You'll see what I said here. I said... Did you try these? If so, did you take did you take video? So I don't know if we'll see it. I don't know if he was able to take video. Oops, Matrixy. Sorry, I forgot to switch back before I switch. Um, so I don't know if we'll take. I don't know if he was able to take video, but I hope so. And if he tried these, I'm interested to see what he thought of them, because I'm sure he's probably familiar with them a little bit at least, because that's kind of what he does. It seems like on Twitter, it seems like a toy guy so he's probably a little bit familiar with them and I really do appreciate you guys saying like that you guys trust my word about what I say with this stuff um I really do appreciate that it, it, it kind of makes me feel good that you guys actually trust me and know I wouldn't steer you the wrong way about this stuff and I'm really honest about it like if something sucks I'll say it sucks but so far I'm pretty excited about this I'm glad they're actually having packaging. I was kind of worried about that they wouldn't, that, it, that they'd just be like a game in like a little plastic housing thing or something. But it looks like they'll have packaging, so that's cool. Um, have yet to see if it's going to have manuals or not, but we'll see. I hope they do. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Share it on Twitter. Share it with Hasbro so they know I'm talking about them. So. Maybe they'll be more inclined to, I don't know, reach out to me. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Hasbro, reach out to me. I really want to check this out, please. Like, I love these things. I'm telling you guys, I need to check these out. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please check me out on Facebook and Twitter for updates. And also, the community page. Subscribe to me. Click the notification bell if you, if you want to stay notified on this stuff. I'll keep you guys up to date. Just check my community page, check Facebook, Twitter, check the Discord. I'll try to keep you guys up to date on there. I need to get on there more and update you guys more about stuff, but I forget about it. I apologize, you guys. I forget about it. I have a Discord. I pop in there from time to time, check on you guys, see what you guys are doing. Um, it's not really active on there, but you guys can post on there anytime you want, and I'll, and I'll check it out and res respond to you. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the end screen cards on your screen now, right here. Um, one for subscribe, one from the Patreon, and one for a recommended video down here. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Patreon supporters, for supporting the channel. It really is going to help out a lot, especially if I have to rebuy all these tigers, man. It's crazy, man. But thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon and through subscribing. Thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me. And, uh, I'll keep you guys up to date, but it's looking good so far. Fingers crossed, man. I love it. Love all this stuff. Fingers crossed, guys. Peace out.